Hey there YouTube, this is Justin Co, Co Show 619 here to show you some uh, new product from Horizon Hobby and specifically the Spectrum FC6250 HX flight controller this flight controller is packed with features it's got telemetry, um, it's got panic recovery it's got safe mode, um, it's all assignable and you can do settings per three modes there's all kinds of things you can do with it so I'm gonna be using it's already installed in the helicopter but this is another one this is a 100 amp Avion speed controller for the Fusion 550 or 480 it's got a fan on it it's a pretty cool feature it's smart telemetry it allows me to get the telemetry through the radio so let's jump right in it for the first thing you're gonna pull out your manual and you're gonna read in here there's a little diagram and stuff um, basically it tells you servo placement and um, you know standard stuff like that throttle and where it plugs in and all um, the very first thing that you need to do is um, set up a new helicopter model on your radio and um, in doing that you're gonna you're gonna just set up a helicopter default and name it and set the frame rate to 11 milliseconds and um, we're going to get into what to do on your channel assignment menu right now and your flight and your flight mode menu. So let's get into that. First thing I do is I go to model setup here and I go to channel assignment. It's going to ask you to turn hit this button. In channel assignment, you're going to set your gear channel to flight mode, your auxiliary 2 to switch I, that's for your panic recovery, and your aux 3 to flight mode. So again, gear to flight mode, aux 2 to switch I, and aux 3 to flight mode. Now we're going to go back over here. Um, and again, I've set my frame rate to 11 milliseconds. Um, here you go, 11 milliseconds, DSMX. And uh, you're going to go to flight mode setup. In flight mode, you'll see that I'm using switch B, which is our flight mode switch. And switch H is my hold switch back here. So standard helicopter stuff, guys. Come on. We're going to go into the, um, let's see. Let's go to our standard menu. Model adjustment. Gyro screen, everybody. Let's turn this on. Gyro is set to flight mode switch. So you get three different or four different flight modes uh, settings for your gain. They say to start at 75% so in the manual here. Um, you basically see that they tell you for your tail rotor to go 75% right there for your uh, tail rotor. So I've started at 75%. I did fly this once and now I've adjusted it a few times. So you can see that my hold mode is at 75. Normal is at 90. Stunt 1's at 85. Stunt 2's at 80. Your channel is set on the gear as such that we did with the channel assignment menu. So gear and flight mode, guys. Go into mixing. This is gonna be for your panic recovery. Um, when you go to your mixing menu, you can pick this first P-mix right here. When the P-mix comes up, you got gear to gyro. That's how this is set. The rate is 125% and 0% and then your offset is negative 100% uh, the switch is on I of course because that's your bailout switch and you mark this box here the orange box number one is where you want it to be active there you go so now that the radio is set up let's get into some forward programming in order to do this you have to have the helicopter on this would be a binding process at this point uh very first thing this is a 480 helicopter so or bigger it's actually a 550 but anything bigger than 360 millimeters as it states in the instructions uh you will want to use a remote receiver so here we go here's my remote receiver and um it's, a, it's the new Spectrum DSMX remote receiver, and it's plugged in right here to RX1. And then as you come around this side, you plug your telemetry receiver in 
to where it says bind and data and uh, receiver. So um, there's where your telemetry goes. Now, you know, since I've already done this, basically your first step would be to put a bind plug in where the telemetry receiver is plugged in now, put a bind plug in, bind this as normal, it'll connect your radio in 11 milliseconds, and then when that's done, plug in your telemetry receiver, hold the bind button on the uh, on the spectrum logo here where my finger is, and then plug the battery in and that'll blink also, and uh, you're gonna bind the, um, the telemetry receiver as normal. So now I'm gonna turn on, plug in, Always take your blades off when you're working with your helicopter. You could unplug the motor, but I can't get to mine, so... Um, I am basically live right now, but the blades are off so they won't whack me in the face. I'm going to go ahead and hit hold mode anyway. You can see that all of my stuff is working, all my stuff is going the right way. Rudder's working and everything. Um, let's go into forward programming. So to set this gyro up, here we go. Forward programming. Says the throttle's high because it knows where your throttle position is. We connect. Very first thing, once you think we go into setup menu, setup. So I just start from the top, guys. We got swash plate. And when you go into swash plate, you've got from the top, we've got output setup. My servos are 333 hertz. My type here, and you can adjust that by just clicking on it. You can go down to 200 or 90 or wherever you want to be. 333 is as high as these go for this head. I'm going to hit OK. My type, this is where you pick your head type. Type. We've got three servos, 120. Um, as you can see, you can, you can motor through these. Oops, I have to click on it. You can motor through these settings here, and you can see that there's different types of heads. Now look at your helicopter and tell what the picture looks like and that'll be your head so here's three servos 120 you can see it's labeled a b and then c a is the passenger seat b is in the back seat and c is the driver so there you go that's how i do it like you're sitting in a car um basically you get out of that now let's go into the next thing would be directions this is where you would reverse your servos that output one two and three is just like i showed you that's your ABC servo. They're different for whatever the layout is. So in this case, servo number one, um, if I wanted to reverse it, I could just hit reverse. And there's servo one here on the right side. We'll put it back normal. So that's super simple, everybody. Um, going to uh, direction, if I wanted to, oh yeah, I was just there. We, we already showed you how to reverse it. Going to sub trim. Sub trim is where you make your, uh, your swash plate flat. Um, we want that swash plate to be to be nice and flat um, and when you move your pitch for everything to, to be even oops I forgot that I was in this mode right now swash plates flat though basically this is where you can adjust your servos by uh, essentially hitting whatever servo you need to adjust so this one's at 18 now but if I move it you can see it goes up and down that's what puts your swash where it needs to be so we'll go back to 18 18 hit okay that's how you adjust the swim the the sub trim on your swash hopefully everybody can see this because i sure hope you can let's get a little closer so then we'll go in back again you've got your frame rate here on your output setup that's in the sub trim um, that's output of the, that's pretty much everything in the swash plate. I'll go back so you can see the bottom of this. This E-ring, the phasing, and the 50% decay. Um, I'm not a scientist. I still don't know what that means, and I will look it up. So stay tuned for future. This is just to get you going. Don't need to worry about that now. Going to tail rotor like we were going to set up the tail rotor. Here's output again. Click on it. My frame rate is 560 hertz on these 6360 Spectrum servos. How do I know that? Well, it says it on the back of the box. So that's how I know that. And it seems to be the only position that the servo will work in. So once you find where the servo works, that's that's where it goes. And uh, the head's 333, the tail is 560 on uh, the 6350 cyclic servos and the 6360 HV tail servos. 
Get back out. Oh yeah, so then you can sub trim the tail here. I always talk about the right pitch on your tail rotor. Um, tail blades are not on the helicopter right now, but you can see that we're somewhat centered here. Um, and, the, and that this blade is more pointed towards the boom and this blade is pointed outward. That, that gives you the blades looking like this when they're on and you want a little bit of right pitch in your tail. So um, you can adjust the sub trim menu um, here and uh, basically we don't need to do that right now. So again, there's travel. Um, with the travel, my travel is at 99 and 88, but it's a simple thing if you move the stick over and you take take it to as far as it goes without binding, and again to the right side, as far as it goes without binding, back it off if it binds, get your tail to be smooth like that. So that's how you do that part. Um, advanced setup, this is tail phasing. I believe there's none in it right now. I don't think I put any in there. It's zero. Tail phasing, I believe, is if it torques one way or another, you can uh, compensate for that. But we're all right right now. And uh, so that would complete the tail rotor setup. Oops. Uh, throttle, you're going to have to um, initiate your throttle to get the speed control to initialize. So you would click on fail safe. And then you capture the fail safe position, which I've already done, but it'll basically initialize your speed control once you've done that. Um, hover throttle, we we flick this number at 